So hi there, I'm in the middle of building my latest project, which is a holographic, uh, sorry, kaleidoscopic projector. And it's for my wife. It's, it's uh, pretty much a nightlight, really cool one. I'll show you what I got. Um, here's the board that drives LEDs. I started with uh, this reflective panel that I dumpstered over. And um, didn't know what I was going to use it for until today. I uh, cut it up and glued it into the, the kaleidoscope. So here's a longer one. I glued it onto a gear, and I'll show you why I did that in a sec. And as well as a piece of PVC pipe. Here's the kaleidoscope. So the cool thing is this LED part. So I programmed these LEDs to um, go in succession, and if I put the kaleidoscope above it, it projects a pretty cool image. Um, I don't know if you can see this. Let's see. Let's reposition the camera so you can see it. to rotate the kaleidoscope slowly so it makes this really cool pattern on the ceiling. Um, to rotate the kaleidoscope I have um, this little DC motor. I think I got this from a printer. I don't know. A lot of dumpster diving. So this worm gear will drive the slow rotation of the kaleidoscope. So now I've got the parts mounted to a triangular base and what I have here is the motor glued to an angle bracket and this is a DC to DC converter that converts uh, 12 volt so I, uh, into about 3 volts and this potentiometer will control the voltage so I can vary the speed a little bit. Um, here's a barrel connector and the LEDs. So here is the box that I built for the kaleidoscopic projector. It's a triangular box enclosure that I just whipped up really quick. It has all the electronics mounted to the base and the base is fastened into these walls by these screws. These uh, just pipes that I glued onto the sides for a little decoration. Um, it's all powered by a 12 volt uh, supply wall wart and it plugs into the bottom here. Let's see. 